Hey, so in this quick video right here, I just want to talk to you guys out there. I get this question a lot too. A lot of people out there, whether you're hauling semis or hotshot trucks out there, a lot of you guys do not know how to get oversized and over with permits so you guys can start doing OD loads, over dimensional loads. If you guys can start hauling oversized loads, I can guarantee you that you guys will make more money. These freight brokers and these shipping companies out here pay guys good money to haul oversized loads because they know everyone can't do it. There's a lot of people out there that shy away from hauling oversized and over uh, with loads. So in this quick video, I just want to break it down to you guys real quick. How can you start hauling these OD over dimensional loads out there? Anything that's over eight feet, six inches wide is considered a over with load, meaning that you have to get hauling permits. You have to get a permit for every state that you're going to enter. So if you're going through uh, Indiana to Pennsylvania, you guys have to have a hauling permit for Indiana, for Ohio, and for Pennsylvania. So it don't matter if you're just in five miles into whatever state it is and you're about to drop off that load. You guys have to have that hauling permit for every state because if you don't have the actual hauling permits and the oversized permits to go and enter the states, you guys will be faced with a penalty if you get pulled over by the DOT. So I recommend you guys learning how to go get these oversized permits out there. So it's not hard, it's very easy. You have basically two options on how you can get your oversized permits out there. Your first option is that you could go to a permitting agency. So all you have to do is just go Google it. Go Google oversized over with permitting agencies. And of course there's plenty of them that's going to pop up. So the only thing about that is that that permitting agency is going to charge you a service fee per state. So you already have to pay an actual uh, you know, fee for the permit. So let's just say in Indiana, for example, I know the permit here costs $20, but that's when I go get it by myself. So if you go to a permitting agency, that permitting agency can charge you whatever they want to charge you. I've seen permitting agencies charge anywhere from $15 to $30 per state. So they're going to add that service fee on top of what that state fee is already. So if I go to a permitting agency right now and that permitting agency charges me, let's just say $15 you know, per state, and then I want to get an Indiana permit, I know Indiana permit is $20. But now I have to pay $35 because I have to pay that actual service fee for the for the actual permitting agency so they can go do the work for me. So if you guys just want to know how to go get the actual per, uh, permits on your own, it's not hard. All you have to do is just Google it. Go Google. If I want to get a permit here in Indiana right now by myself, all you have to do is just go Google Indiana oversized and over with permits. So make sure once the actual uh, results come up after you Google, you know, the actual state where you want to get your permits from, make sure that you're actually going directly to that state website, which should be .gov. Anything else is just basically a permitting agency out there trying to charge you to do something that you could be doing yourself. So over time, you guys could save a lot of money because just imagine if I'm going through uh, three or four states and then I have to pay that permitting agency anywhere from 15 to $30. Now I'm paying him anywhere from $60 to $120, which I can actually keep that money in my profit. I mean, in my pocket, you know, if I just go do it all by myself, you know, sometimes it might take a while when you're doing it by yourself. But the thing about booking oversized loads is that you want to book those loads a day in advance anyway. You know, you don't really want to wake up in the morning and see that oversized load on the load board and tell the broker that you could pick it up today because you have to wait anyway until you get your hauling permits. So if you are, this is just some advice. So if you're booking the load and it's an oversized load, if you're booking it today, let the broker know that you're going to pick it up tomorrow because you have to get your hauling permits and you have to go get all of these permits 
So a lot of times the states might not actually give you that permit that day. They might issue it out to you the next day. So you guys don't want to be in a rush of hauling oversized loads and thinking that you're going to pick them up that same day. You want to make sure that you get your permits. So at least give yourself a day in advance so you guys can start planning and getting your actual permits. So like I say, it's not hard once you go to the website and once you actually get to where you need to go on that state website, it's all self-explanatory. You guys just are going to need all of the information about that load, where is it picking up from, where is it going to, what's the length, what's the width, what's the height, what's the weight, what's the commodity, what's your actual uh, axles, what's the weight of your axles, what is the spacings between your, your drive axles to your steer axles. You know, what's the uh, spacing between your actual uh, drive, your drive axle and the first axle of your trailer? What is the spacing between your, the first axle of your trailer to the second axle of your trailer? So just basic, you know, uh, knowledge and basic information you guys need to already have because once you start applying for these oversized loads out there, that's what they're going to ask you. So if you guys want to save money, you could go do it yourself, you know, just by Googling the state, typing in, if you want to go to Kentucky, Kentucky, oversized and over with permits, and the first link that should pop up should be the actual uh, state of Kentucky, so you're actually, it should be a .gov. Go to that website, click that link, and then it's going to just walk you through the process out there, so... Um, and like I said, you guys can go out there and get a permitting agency, but that permitting agency, of course, is going to charge you a service fee. So over time, if you guys continue to haul oversized and over with lows out there, that permitting agency can potentially get expensive. So learn how to do uh, a lot of these small things on your own within your trucking company, and I guarantee you that you guys will start seeing way more money and you guys will start seeing more profit. Don't be afraid to get out there and haul those oversized permits out there. I mean, those oversized loads. Don't be afraid to go get those oversized permits by yourself. If you have any questions, hit me on my email at broker at managetrans.com. Go visit my website www.extraordinarymovement.com 30 day free trial with DAT everything in the description box below go sign up with tabs Trans and Financial Services if you're looking for a factor in services CEO commit, execute, and be obsessed everybody be great out there